Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is practice solving and graphing inequalities that involve absolute value. And this example right here reads, the absolute value of x must be greater than 5. Now remember, absolute value just means distance away from 0. So what we're saying here is that our distance away from 0 must be greater than 5. Well, if we take a look at our number line right here, here's 0. And if we want to have a distance that's further away from 5, we could go 5 in this direction, and we can make a mark right here and say that anything that is greater than that number is a greater distance away from 0 than 5. And we can also go to the left of 0 and go a distance of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and make a point, but we cannot shade it in because we want a value that's a greater distance of 5 from 0. So we would say that anything to the left of negative 5 is a greater distance away from 0 than 5. So this is how our solution set would look after graphing it. OK, now we've graphed the inequality, but let's go ahead and show how we would solve. Now, if we remove the absolute value brackets, we would just have x is greater than 5 and x is already isolated by itself, so we don't have to do anything else. But remember that we can also have everything in here being negative. So we can remove the absolute value brackets and write negative x is greater than 5, but we cannot have a negative on the left-hand side. So really our coefficient is negative 1. So if we end up dividing this side by negative 1 and the other side by negative 1, that ends up giving us positive 1x is less than negative 5. Remember, when you divide by a negative, you must reverse the order of the sign. So we have to graph two possibilities. All x's that are greater than 5 are to the right of 5 on the number line, and all x's less than negative 5 are going to be to the left of negative 5 on our number line. We should also notice that everything that is in the middle of these two points here would not be part of our solution set because these distances are not greater than 5 away from 0. For example, this point right here would just be a distance of 1 away from 0, and it says here that our distance must be greater than 5, or the distance away from 0 must be greater than 5. Okay, let's try another example. All right, so we have the inequality. The absolute value of 3 times x is less than or equal to 12. Now, what this inequality is really saying is that 3 times x is less than or equal to 12 units away from 0. So really what we're trying to determine here is what values of x can we plug in so when we multiply by 3 would result in a distance that is less than 12 or equal to 12 units away from 0. Now we know that 12 units away from 0 can be 12 above 0 or 12 below 0. With that being said, here's how we're going to rewrite this. We're going to rewrite this as 3x is less than or equal to 12, or 3x is greater than or equal to negative 12. So what we did here is we turned this positive 12 into negative 12 because we know that we're trying to get a distance that is less than 12 units away from 0. And we know that 12 units can be above 0 or below 0. So we just change this 12 to negative 12. But if we change this to negative 12, we have to reverse the direction of our inequality symbol. Now what we have to do is just solve each one of these inequalities separately. OK, because we are multiplying by 3, we have to do the inverse, which is to divide by 3. And we balance our inequality by dividing the other side by 3. And that leaves us with an x on the left. And it leaves us with positive 4 on the right. And for this inequality, we do the same thing. We divide this side by 3, and we divide the other side by 3. And that leaves us with x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Remember, a negative divided by a positive will always give you a negative. So we have to show all solutions on our number line that would satisfy not only x is less than or equal to 4, but also x is greater than or equal to negative 4. OK, so let's locate positive 4 on the number line and also negative 4 on the number line. 
because our inequality sign has an equal to as part of it, we have to shade in that circle just to say that both of those numbers right below the point is a possible solution. Okay, now we have to show on the number line where all possible values would be less than or equal to 4. So starting right here at 4, we know that the numbers get smaller going in this direction here. But notice we have to stop at negative 4 because the inequality also says that all x values have to be greater than or equal to negative 4. So if we started at negative 4 and went to the right where all of the numbers are greater, we would go in this direction. But we have to stop here because we have to draw a line that would satisfy not only this part of our inequality, but that part as well. So only the values in between those points, including the two shaded points, would satisfy this inequality right here. So let's say you took a number that was outside the boundaries of these two points that would not satisfy the inequality like negative 6 and plug it in. We can see that it would make a false statement. For example, let's take the absolute value of 3 times negative 6 and see if that would satisfy our inequality. So 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. And we still have to take the absolute value of that and see if that is less than or equal to 12. And the absolute value of negative 18 is 18. And 18 is not less than or equal to 12. So that would not satisfy the inequality. Now, if you were to plug negative 4 and positive 4 inside our inequality, we would get a true statement or any values located in between these two points. So just to demonstrate, let's plug negative 2 inside our inequality. So we're going to write the absolute value of 3 times negative 2 is less than or equal to 12. And the product of positive 3 and negative 2 is negative 6. So we have the absolute value of negative 6 is less than or equal to 12. And the absolute value of negative 6 is 6, which is in fact less than 12. So that value of negative 2 does satisfy our inequality, as would any other value in the middle of negative 4 and positive 4, including negative 4 and positive 4. I hope this tutorial on solving and graphing inequalities has been helpful. And don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when new tutorials become available.